everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting announcement. I started a buy band back in January uh, because I wanted to save up to take a trip to Japan and I'm going to Japan. I will be going to Japan in November of this year and I'm very excited. It's been over three years since the last time I went to Japan and I miss it so much. Um, but anyways, because my buy band is over, it actually ended in May because that's when I bought my tickets. I started picking up manga again and I just wanted to share with you guys what I have been picking up since then. At the end of this video I'm actually going to have a chart that talks about like how much I spent on everything um, just because I find that kind of stuff interesting. I buy almost all of my manga used or um, I use store credit for the ones that I can't find used. So the first one I have on my stack is Vagabond Volume 2. I still haven't read all of my Volume 1, but what I read of it I did really like, and since I found this on a really good sale, I decided to pick it up. So that is that. Next, I have a series that I picked up, unhauled, and I picked it up again, and that is Tokyo Revengers. I got Volumes 1 through 6. This series I did really enjoy when I first read it, but it was one of those things that I was like, oh, how long is this going to be? Because if this is super long, I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. And now that it's completed in Japan, I'm not sure if it's completely printed in the US, but it's getting close. If not, I really want to pick it all up again. And so this is me starting to pick it up. Next, I have Eminon. This is the complete series in four volumes. This is for a buddy read that I'm planning on doing with someone who supposedly hates buddy reads, but they're going to do one with me, and I'm super excited about that. Um, this is a series that I think I read the first volume a long time ago, or maybe I read one by the author, um, like a different manga by the author that I liked, but I never really picked up. But anyways, uh, I just have to show you guys this. None of these volumes are the same height. That drives me crazy when I first put these on my shelves. I thought I was going to go insane. Does it drive anybody else crazy? Does this, this drives me crazy. Ugh. When it's like one volume that's off, I'm usually like, oh, I can ignore it. But when it's like multiple volumes, I just, I can't. Anyways, next I have Fruits Basket Another. This came out a long time ago and I love Fruits Basket. I wanted to pick this up. I never did. I don't know why. And now I have this, I'm going to read it. And if I love it, I'll pick up the rest. Next is one that I read online a long time ago and I loved. This is one of my Guilty Pleasure mangas. I don't really vibe with this kind of stuff in general, but this is one that I love and it is Sheep Princess in Wolf's Clothing. I love Yuri titles, but I'm not really a spicy smutty girl. And so the fact that this has kind of spicy smutty stuff is very not me, but I love this series. Next, I have Same Cell Organism. This is by a mangaka that I really love. We didn't get a whole lot of their titles in English. And so whenever I see them around, I grab them. Um, it's by Sumomo Yumeka. And I just love their art and their stories. I think they're great. So next is a newer release that is I See Your Face Turned Away. This follows a girl who basically ships her best friend with a guy in their class. And she just like makes up all of these storylines in her head about them like getting together and being cute together. And then I think she actually falls for the guy that she ships her friend with. And so she has to like deal with those feelings. It sounded really interesting. I love this cover. So I decided to pick it up. Next, I have a continuation and that is Delinquent Daddy and Tender Teacher. I picked up volumes two and three. I read the first volume and really liked it. And so I decided to continue the series. Next is one that I watched some of the anime and I didn't know it had a manga and that is Dimension W. I picked up volumes one and two. This was at my used bookstore. I'm really curious to read this and to see how many volumes it actually is. If you guys have read this, please comment below and let me know if you liked it. After that, I have a series that I'm going to start collecting. Um, My Hero Academia volumes two through five. I picked up volume one recently because my nephew is getting into manga and my sister asked me to find some things that were age appropriate. And after reading that first volume to make sure that it would be okay for him to read. I really enjoyed it. And so I also bought myself a volume. 
and now I want to continue it. I haven't seen the anime. This is my first time reading the manga and I'm really enjoying it. Next I have the second and last volume of Pink Heart Jam. This is one that I read on an app and really enjoyed it and so when it got physically printed I was really excited and I'm excited to have the full series that I'm going to be reading this month. And after that this is one that I picked up because of Laura. I'll have her channel linked below. Um, this is my love story with Yamada-kun at level 999. I know that Laura really loves this series and I'm excited to see why she loves it so much. My last stock that I'm going to be going through is stuff that was either gifted to me or that I bought from friends um, on like Instagram, online friends. So the first one is Tokyo Babylon. I got this from the Weeb family when I went out to visit them and record their collection video. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will have it linked below. You should go watch it. I know it's really long, but it's amazing. Um, so anyways, I'm really excited about this. I do have, I don't know if we can see very many of my clamp. I do have a lot of clamp series. This is the basically prequel to X or X1999, which I do have, and I never picked up Tokyo Babylon. So I'm excited to have this in the new printing. These next ones, Laura sold to me, Like a Butterfly, one through six, A Brief Moment of Ichika, and Past the Monster Meat, Milady volumes one, or two and three. Um, these are all ones that she was planning on unhauling and I wanted to pick up. And so instead of giving money to a store, I gave money to my friend. And so I really love doing that. And the last ones I got from Marg, I will link her channel down below and she sold me her Nina the Starry Bride volumes one through three. This is one that I used to read online and absolutely loved it and I am so happy that we are getting these in print because I love them so very much. But yeah again I love giving money to my manga friends so that they can buy more manga and I'm not just giving money to a random store. That is my haul. I will have all of the totals of how many I got from friends and everything like that that I will put up right now. And that's it. How are you guys doing? Is anybody else going to Japan this year? I know that a bunch of other people have gone already and some people who are going soon and I think Marg is in Japan right now which is so exciting. Um, and what are some manga that you've hauled recently and what are some manga that you want to haul? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!